So am I going to inject with this small cartridge? <laughs> it's like a drop. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a full one. That's an empty one. So that's what 900 I use, and that's what like 10 I use. Alright, so we're not using this one. This one's cold. That's right, I'll keep it in my hand. This is fine. I'm going to use a new cartridge because the last one is very empty. So I'm going to load my new cartridge. I use a pure one. One, two, three, four, five. Pure one is done. Just stung. That one stung a little bit because I got a new cartridge out and I think it was too cold. Yeah, these never sting. I don't know if that was at room temperature enough. A little bit burning. Now for my Orgalia tran. This one's a funny one because I feel like it's a gel and there's always, always bubbles in it and I can never get those tiny little micro bubbles to the top. So I don't know if it's okay to have those little bubbles. In the instruction booklet it doesn't even talk about pushing the air out. So I just took it into my own hands to take the air out because it does not seem right to have all this. You know there's no little bubbles. I'm pushing the air out and my little droplet came out so I think we're ready. One, two, three, four, five. And we're done. I'm so bloated. I find I always bruise not on the first day but on the second day. But I guess that's normal with any bruise as soon as someone you know, you hit something, it doesn't come up straight away. It takes a while for the, the bruise to come up. Today I felt very, very bloated and a bit crampy. Um, I've been, I don't know if this is a symptom of it, but I've just been feeling really tired for the past maybe three days. But I guess I, maybe I haven't had enough sleep. <laughs> Tomorrow is day 12. I have my fourth blood test and scan, um, ultrasound, they'll count my follicles. I had on my third scan I had one follicle and 11 that were uh, not ready yet so I'm hoping that those 11 um, follicles are ready now so fingers crossed they tell me I have uh, 12 follicles. I don't know, maybe more will pop up, I have no idea. Praying for lots of eggs and lots of embryos. My scan's in the morning and they should send me a text at about 2 or 3 p.m. Letting me know um, what medication to take that afternoon and possibly when to do my trigger injection and my egg collection at the day surgery. That is it. Injection's done. Oh, thank you. Like 
injecting always makes or reminds me to take my tablet. So I'll keep it in my little handy box. Where I injected the Orgaliotran, it's a little bit kind of a bit welted, a little bit red, bit bit like a big mosquito bite. But that's all good. It's um yeah, it goes down. Goes down after a little while. I just got home from my blood test and my ultrasound. The person who did my ultrasound said that I now have 16 follicles, 9 are at full size and ready. The nurses will please send me a text message maybe at 2 or 3 p.m. just to let me know what my next steps are. Normally they tell me the injection dose, when to take it and when my next, either when my next scan is or in this case maybe when my trigger injection is to trigger ovulation. So I guess that means right now there might be nine potential babies. Not all follicles contain eggs, so even though there's nine follicles, there might not be nine eggs. As far as I know, um, follicles might not contain eggs, but they might contain two eggs. Um, I really have no idea. I'll have to Google that one. The ultrasound lady said that the nurses could possibly do the egg retrieval now. If they do it now, they might collect about nine follicles, or they might postpone it and sacrifice a couple of the follicles, but potentially gain some more follicles. So I guess it's kind of a gamble. Um, I'll leave it up to the nurses' hands. I don't know what they'll decide, but I guess I'll know soon. So I did my scan first, and then once I had learned that new information, I, I was ready to get my blood test, and I was a bit emotional, and maybe it's all the hormones, um, like the hormone injections, but I did want to cry. <laughs> yeah, it's an emotional time. I probably was happy, not that I'm sad, I'm very hopeful. I guess it's, it's good to get all these updates, but it also makes it hard not knowing what the outcome's gonna be. I guess um, each person going through this, it's, it's everybody's body is different and I guess it's the luck of the draw. You just don't know until, until egg retrieval or until we create embryos. It's all up to the professionals now. My appointment was at 8.15 this morning. Um, so I woke up, got in the car, drove to the train station, um, was just about to get on the train when I realised I forgot my folder. Um, my folder's got all my IVF referrals in it, um, my referrals, all well, my blood test referrals. So I remember there was an after hours nurse uh, emergency number <laughs> and it was about 7.15, my appointment was at 8.15 and I knew that if I went home, got my referral, came back, I'd probably completely miss my appointment. Um, and you have to do it between the hours, like the, the scans, between the hours of 7 and 9am. So, quick thinking, I, luckily I had the mobile number in my phone, saved in my phone. So I dialed the nurse's number, the emergency call, and it didn't go through the first time, rang it again, didn't go through the second time, and I'm freaking out thinking, oh my god, I've just missed my scan, like, I can't make it. Um, so the third time lucky, she picked up the phone call and it sounded like she was still, <laughs> still asleep. Um, so I asked her, is it okay if I, if I turn up to the blood test without any referral? And she said, yep, that's fine, just go to the front desk, they open at 8 o'clock. So my scan test was at 8.15. Um, so I went to the front desk and got them to reprint my referral. Um, so all they needed was my Medicare card, so lifesaver. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's good to know that at least if I do forget it again, that I can just um, get it printed out again. But generally I do my scans at about 7 o'clock in the morning, um, So, but I start work at 9 o'clock, so yeah. I've just got to remember, next time, bring your referral. <laughs> when you're half asleep, you don't think of these things. Hello. Hello, Rosemary. 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 Hello,
I did, yes. I have a couple of questions. <laughs> um, okay, so my injections, um, I've been taking the Puragon and the Ogilatran um, at 10 p.m. So, because um, it says do the trigger of the Ogilatran drill at 9 p.m. So I can't do the 10 p.m. a little bit of bloating um, yeah. maybe two days ago and a little okay. bit of cramping but all normal like it's not excruciating it's not uh, painful or anything so okay good yeah. uh, your levels are actually really good today considering how many follicles you've got so okay. just keep doing what you're doing drink heaps of water okay. obviously up until the time you need to fast yeah. and, uh, and yeah, we go from there. So how many follicles do I have now and ready follicles? Okay, so, well all up, you've got about 25, I'm sure they wow. told you. Um, but probably, probably about 12 eggs. Okay, so. Which is a really good number. Lovely, okay. Yeah, might be more, might be a little bit less, but it'll be around that four months. Yeah, the, the likelihood of uh, doing an embryo transfer like, would you know now or not really until the last week? Uh, well, look, we don't know until we see how many are fertilised and then how many have continued to, to grow. Okay. Um, considering that you're starting with a lot of eggs, I'd say, and your age, I would say it's highly likely that we'll get to do a fresh embryo transfer. Sometimes if we have a lot of uh, embryos and you're feeling a bit unwell and your hormones are really high, Tuesday, I just have the Puragon and the Ogulatran, the same amount. Um, no, you don't no? have anything. Oh, nothing. Okay, so, um, lucky I asked tonight, that. Tonight, they're finished. Yes. All your medications are finished. Okay. You'll get some, when you're at the day surgery on Wednesday, you'll get some, um, another medication called Crinone. Um, yeah. We'll I can see call that. you on Thursday to get some more. Yeah, I'll call you on Thursday to let you know when to start it. Okay, so no, Monday, I take yeah. my Puragon and the Ogulatran. Yeah. And the other drill, so it's yeah. 7 p.m. and then 9 p.m. for the trigger, yeah. and then Tuesday is what I meant to say. So Tuesday, yeah. do I have nothing, or do I? Yeah. Tuesday nothing. Tuesday nothing. Everything okay. finished up. If you're worried about anything, just call me after mobile. I'm clearly on mobile for you. All right. But, uh, sounds like you got it straight. Yeah, <laughs> got it all written down. <laughs> Good. Well, 
Awesome. Thank you, Vanessa. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. So I have 24 all up and 12 eggs. I thought I had, um, yeah, I was under the impression today that I had 16 follicles, nine ready follicles and seven follicles that weren't ready. But it looks like all up I have 25, 25 follicles and 12 eggs. So they, they actually counted the eggs. Um, wow, 12 eggs. Oh, I forgot to ask if if I could get more between now and the egg collection at the day surgery because today is only Monday. I've still got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday I have the, the egg collection. So, I mean, I've got 12 eggs now and 25 a lot. Maybe, like, it's... I might have more. Who knows? I'm very excited. <laughs> I think it's my last day of these um, injections, the Puragon and the Ovulatran. So this one I have to do at 7. My Puragon dose is 200. I do feel very bloated. I... Mark does not like needles. No, do it straight. You're not straight. Yeah. Hang on, you've got to just stab it in mm -hmm. and then you've got to push it down all the way slowly, yeah, not no, fast. No, no, no. <laughs> and then you've got to hold it for five seconds. Mm. Okay? Go. One, two, three. Stop! I said slowly. Go. Slowly. You're pushing it out. Go, slow, go. Push, push all the way. Mm. All right. One, two, three, four, five, five. He's Sorry. supposed to pull it out fast. He did it! He hates needles, so this is overcoming a big fear of his. You did good. You did very good, Ma. Are you okay? Yeah. I felt it coming up. It was disgusting. He's run away into the other room. <laughs> that was good. Do you want to do my next one? What? You want to? What is it? Sometimes I can get it and sometimes I can't get it. You know what? It's bloody easy to do it this way. Oh, that's why you... That's why you can't do it like... Mark, I pricked my finger! <laughs> I think on the last day I'd get it right. That bled more than my stomach, that's good. Now for the Ogulatran. Mark, I've got one more. Come on, you can do it. Just pouring the air out of it. Two fifty IUs of Ogulatran. It seriously doesn't even hurt. I've had people tell me to, who have done the injections before, to use numbing cream, like numb it. You don't need numb it. One, two, three, four, five. You do not need numbing cream. Doesn't hurt that bad. If you just do it quick, mind if I'm mad, I'll just stab it in. That's the second time I've got my finger off. Okay, must be overexcited. That is my 7 p.m. injections done. Puragon and Orgoliotran. 200 I use and 250 I use of Orgoliotran. Now we have to wait till 10 p.m. to take my trigger injection. I don't even know how to take it, so I've got to read the manual. Oh, real. So I'm going to guess this one. I wash my hands. Yeah, oh, 
Trigger injection done.